Chemistry lecture number 73, gas stoichiometry. In some chemical reactions, we want to know the grams of product made from liters of a gas, or we may want to know the liters of a gas made from grams of reactant. Uh, in these and other cases, we can use factor labeling and Avogadro's principle to convert between liters and grams. In the above reaction, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to produce ammonia. If 15 liters of hydrogen reacts completely with nitrogen at a temperature of 273 Kelvin and a pressure of 760 torr, uh, what mass of NH3 will be made? Well, first we need to identify the known and the unknown. And in this problem, they tell us that the volume of hydrogen is 15, so 15 liters is the known for the hydrogen, and they ask us, what mass of NH3? How many grams of NH3? So this is the unknown. That's what we're trying to find. Right. So we're given liters and we need to convert to grams. Uh, we'll need to convert liters to moles of known, moles of known into moles of unknown, and then moles of unknown into grams of unknown. To do that we need certain equalities. So there's the overview. All right, um, 273 Kelvin is the same as zero degrees uh, Celsius, and 760 Torr is the same as one atmosphere. So the reaction's occurring at standard temperature and pressure. So since it's occurring at SDP, we can use the relationship that one mole of a gas is equal to 22.4 liters to convert liters of H2 to moles. All right, so to go from this step to this step, we can use this relationship. Now, there are some more qualities that we need to know for this reaction. Three moles of H2 will produce two moles of NH3. And we'll use this relationship to convert moles of H2 to moles of NH3. And then we also need to know that the mass of one mole of NH3 is 17 grams. So we're going to use this to convert moles of unknown to grams of unknown. So to go from moles of known to moles of unknown, we use this relationship, 3 to 2, and then to go from moles of unknown to grams of unknown, we use this relationship. So here's the overview of what's going on. They tell us you have 15 liters of H2, they ask us for grams of NH3, here's the overview of how we're going to solve it. To go from liters of known to moles of known, we go use this relationship, to go from moles of known to moles of unknown, we use this relationship. To go from moles of unknown to grams of unknown, we use this relationship. All right, so 15 liters of known, take this number and put it over one. All right, we're gonna go from here to here. I have liters of H2 on top, I wanna get rid of it. So I'm gonna put 22.4 liters of H2 on the bottom and a mole of H2 on top. So that'll convert us from liters of known to moles of unknown. Now we want to go from moles of known to moles of unknown. I have moles of H2 on top, I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put three moles of H2 on the bottom and then two moles of NH3 on top. That will convert us from moles of known to moles of unknown. Now I want to go from moles of unknown to grams of unknown. I have moles of NH3 on top, I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put mole of NH3 on the bottom and then 17 grams of NH3 on top and that'll convert us from moles of unknown to grams of unknown. All right, so liters of H2 cancel, moles of H2 cancel, moles of NH3 cancel, you're left with grams of NH3. 15 times 2 times 17 divided by the product of these two numbers, and that'll give us 7.59 grams of NH3. So what all this means is that if you completely react 15 liters of hydrogen gas with an unlimited amount of nitrogen, you'll produce 7.59 grams of NH3. All right, let's try another problem. What volume of oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure is required to completely react with 52 grams of iron to form iron-3 oxide? So let's identify our known and unknown. What volume of oxygen gas? They're asking for liters of oxygen gas. This is our unknown. It's required to completely react with 52 grams of iron. So that's iron. They're telling you you have 52 
two grams of this stuff. So that's our known. All right, so we've identified our known and our unknown. Let's see if we can figure out what we can do to solve this. We're gonna go from grams of known, convert it to moles of known, then go from moles of known to moles of unknown, and convert it to liters of unknown. All right, so to convert from grams of known to moles of known, we need to know that one mole of iron is 58 grams. To go from moles of known to moles of unknown, we need to know the ratio of the known to unknown is four to three. That's right here. And then to go from moles of unknown to liters of unknown, we need to know that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. All right, here we go. We take the number we want to convert, put it over one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I have grams of iron on top. I want to get rid of it. We're going from here to here. So to get rid of the grams of iron on top, I'll put 55.8 grams of iron on the bottom and a mole of iron on top. So that'll convert us from grams of known to moles of known. Now I want to go from moles of known to moles of unknown. I have uh, moles of Fe on top. I want to get rid of it. So I need to put moles of Fe on the bottom, four moles of Fe on the bottom, and three moles of O2 on top. That'll convert us from moles of known to moles of unknown. Now I want to go from moles of unknown to liters of unknown. I have moles of O2 on top. I want to get rid of it. So I need a mole of O2 on the bottom and then 22.4 liters on top. So that converts us from moles of unknown to liters of unknown. Grams of iron cancel. Moles of iron cancel. Moles of oxygen cancel. We're left with liters of oxygen. 52 times 3 times 22.4 divided by the product of these two numbers, that's gonna give us 15.7 liters of oxygen. So what that means is that if you react 52 grams of iron with an unlimited supply of oxygen, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. So that means that if you want to react all of the iron to produce the product, you need 15.7 liters to go with it. So if you have that much starting material of iron, it needs at least 15.7 liters of oxygen if you want to completely react all of this iron uh, to make iron oxide. If you need to convert volumes of known to volumes of unknown, it's not necessary to convert liters to moles. Mole ratios are the same as volume ratios. For example, if hydrogen gas and oxygen gas react to form water vapor, 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O, it takes one mole of oxygen to produce two moles of water. Or it takes one liter of oxygen to produce two liters of water. So the ratio of here to here is one to two. It's a one to two ratio. For every one mole you get two moles of this or for every one liter you get two liters of this. So one liter of oxygen will produce two liters of uh, water. Two liters of oxygen will produce four liters of water. Uh, three liters of oxygen will produce six liters of uh, water and so on. So uh, however much oxygen you have, you're gonna end up with twice the amount of water by volume. So you only need mole ratios to factor label a volume volume problem since mole ratios are the same as volume ratios. So let's try this problem. Uh, Propane reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. So in this above reaction, what volume of carbon dioxide gas can be produced from eight liters of oxygen gas? So to identify the known and the unknown, it says what volume of CO2? So they're asking for liters. So that's the unknown of carbon dioxide. It can be produced from eight liters of oxygen. So here's oxygen. And they're telling you you have eight liters of the stuff. So this is the known. All right, so that's the known and the unknown. We're gonna convert liters of known into liters of unknown, all right? So to convert it, you just need to know the ratio of uh, the known and the unknown by mole. So five liters or five moles of O2 will produce three liters or three moles of CO2. So you take the number you wanna convert, put it over one, I have liters on top of oxygen on top, I want to get rid of it. Um, so I'll put liters of oxygen on the bottom, five liters of oxygen on the bottom, and 
three liters of CO2 on top. That's it. All right, liters, let me rewrite this. 8.00 liters O2 over one times three, five, three fifths CO2. Okay, so anyway. All right, so liters of O2 cancel and you're left with liters of uh, carbon dioxide. So if you do that, 8 times 3 divided by 5, that's going to give you 4.8 liters of carbon dioxide gas. And that's it for the uh, volume, the volume ones. You don't have to use moles as an intermediary for uh, conversion. Okay, so volume to volume, just treat each of these as though this were liters. Okay. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This is chemistry lecture number 73, gas stoichiometry.